guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Green 2 episode 25 of Healing Good Pretty Here, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. This is the, um, the Pinkington, the Pinkington episode, where he, he's like a little, yeah, it has to be. Hmm? Well, that's an interesting way to start out a Pretty Here episode. Oh, because they watched the movie. Are they watching a the horror movie? <laughs> it's okay, it's just a movie. <laughs> Is it weird that her tablet kind of looks like a Nintendo Switch part? <laughs> Girl, we can't get Netflix on the, the Nintendo Switch yet. Believe me, I've been looking. Come here, Cody. Oh, there you are. Oh, what's wrong? Yeah, this is the episode where he goes missing. Yeah, like how I catches Sakura. <laughs> when Kira went missing. <laughs> or in Sailor Moon, where Luna went missing. Are you okay? Are you happy that you're getting all this attention even though I'm supposed to watch pretty here? Even though we're on the opening right now? Alright, you gotta move your legs for me, please. You can still sit in my lap. Oh, poor baby. <laughs> okay, can we just say Pinguiton is very similar? <laughs> I love the art style though. Um, very similar to Morgana. <laughs> <laughs> because he really loves Chew and Morgana really loves On. Sure you are. You're right on that mark, but you walk away. Is everybody watching this scary movie? <laughs> I 
it's an episode. Oh my God. Hey, at least she brought you home. Yeah, how in the world are you going to get out of this situation? <laughs> but he he's a boy. <laughs> oh. oh, that's so freaking cute. I don't know why, but I'm kind of getting feels towards Hagato with the guy. I don't remember his name. The guy who was like literally who sparked a lot of conversations for the Pretty Care fandom and for people who hadn't seen Pretty Care before as well and seeing him in a dress and how it's okay for a boy to wear a dress. Like so cute. <laughs> Okay, here. There you go. Sit like that. But you can't leave her. Better go ahead and close that window. <laughs> well, A for effort, guys. Don't worry, too. You're gonna find him. It's gonna be okay. So, is Umi not gonna be featured in this episode today? Well, hold up. <laughs> she bought me on. Remember, you had an episode where you fell in love with a human. Oh, there's it. I can't find him. I can't sniff him out anywhere. Mm. You want to go back on the bed? There you go. Hmm. Poor baby. He is trying his hardest to escape. So your mom works late. I get that. And I bet she's like to have ping on Josephine. Because she feels lonely. Come here, baby. Yeah, I get that. Because there are some days where I feel lonely. Even in a post apocalyptic world. Because there's days where she's got to work and it's just me and him. Yeah. Oh. 
Ouais, parce qu'il va être mal sur feuille. Yeah, you honestly need to get out of there. That too. Yeah, but you liked me, didn't you? Um. Oh, poor baby. Having a hard time making friends. Don't do that. Keep standing up for yourself. Yeah, you know you gotta have to leave her. Oh, oh okay. I, I thought she was thinking about the Rottweilers. Well, she is not gonna be able to transform today. Good job, Ruby. Not the worst time to Oh, 
Look, they finally did it, guys. They added Scarlet to the group of transformation. Okay. It's just because you don't want to be lonely anymore. I know. I know. You have friends now. Oh, baby boy, you have courage. Oh my god. Oh, she's not crying. <laughs> baby boy. We just love him so much. He's so damn cute. Like, I can't let go. He's too adorable. Our little scaredy cat, but we love him so much. <laughs> oh my god. Aww. He like Cody, because Cody is. Mm, if, <laughs> Cody gets scared easily, depending on what it is, but you know, when it is time for him to like, mm, like, to have courage and stuff, Cody's there. Cody is like, mm -hmm, let me tell you something. I love my puppy so much. Precious baby boy. As much as I still like 
their single attacks for each girl. I'm still wondering when the heck they're going to get the freaking syringe of pretty hair. I'm just saying. I'm ready to see some injections go in. I mean, we 25 episodes into this show. We haven't seen it. Come on, man. Kid a kid a pretty girl on the mode already had their final freaking issues about now. I think, what, almost every other had theirs about either... Mm, yeah, about to episode 25 or later, but <laughs> that's my only no little nitpick. <laughs> See, you just have to be yourself. Oh, Cry like oh my god. This fucking show. That was cute. Even though this wasn't a it, it still it was still focusing on Chiyu in a way, but it was more of a Penguin Ton episode. I'm glad that we're getting episode focuses on the freaking mascots because the first one was um Rabbitine, then uh Yanton, and now Penguin Ton. And then but no, because mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, because even um, Latte got her own episode in a way. But oh, this was such a good episode. In a weird way, Riri kind of reminds me um, of um, Nanako from Persona 4 and how very um, independent she is. But as a little girl, especially as a young child, having someone be that independent on her own, she still has a lot of issues going on. I mean, if you... I'm not gonna go too, too into spoilery into Persona 5, but if you've played Persona 5, and it's also obvious because that game has been out for a very long time, um, and what Nanako really wants is her mom. A mother figure, because she always felt lonely, and so she used um, Juna's and other things to make herself feel happy. Almost like Riri, but she's using... Uh, she was using ping time. Weird. A weird title for an episode, but it seems interesting. But, I don't know. That preview just felt... Hmm, kind of. Okay, you know what? This is what I felt like it, it, it felt like to me. Okay, let's go back to, because it is now Sunday. Let's go back to Friday night. And I'm going to use it for a show that I watched yesterday. Um, Last, <laughs> on Friday night before I went to bed, Crunchyroll decided to release the preview for um yesterday's Misfit of Demon King Academy, right? And so I see this moment between this couple that I ship and I'm all excited for it, but it hid the biggest thing, the big plot twist that everybody would forget out about, including myself earlier today, um, about it. And I still am like crazy about it. Cause I was like, what <laughs> did this really happen? I mean, it's 12 o'clock in the morning and I'm just like still in the back of my mind, like that really just happened at the end of today's, uh, really yesterday's episode of Misfit, because I'm like, what the fuck happened? But it, it seems like something else is going to happen with this diary thing. I just feel like Umi's diary is just going to be nothing about her love and protection over Latte. Like, yes, I have to protect Latte, um, no matter what, because that is essentially her job. 
And so, but I mean, yeah, I think the episode might be interesting. But yeah, this episode was just really good on going on a focus about a little girl who um, is independent and wanting to make friends. But she feels very lonely because she's moved to another town and none of her friends are there, which is kind of very similar to any of us, whether we have um, moved so many times. Me as a former military brat, I was like that for a while because I have, like, here in Florida, I have a friend that I've known since kindergarten, and as a former military brat, I was moving almost every other few years, so every maybe about, like, three to four years, um, so either once I get, when I came back from, like, either Maryland or Florida, going to Nebraska, and then back here to Florida, um, especially living in Nebraska for six years and then coming back in here, coming back here like 20, we came back here, I think 2018. Um, did I say 2018? I'm so stupid. 2008. My bad. Um, coming back in 2008, it just felt weird and different. And the fact is at that time, I didn't have a lot of my friends. So I felt very out of place here coming back because I wasn't living on the same side of town where my friend, where my best friend lives, we now do. The difference is that she's married and I'm not, and she's about to have a kid and I'm not. So, but yeah, it's still interesting. But there are times where, like, all of us, it does, despite, it doesn't really matter, like, what age you are, you can feel lonely at times. And even during this pandemic, there are some people who um, weren't able to be able to go home to their families because of this, and they had to stay in their apartments or whatever all by themselves and so sometimes they don't really have anyone to lean on yes you can still facetime someone you can zoom someone you can skype someone you can call someone but it's not the same without someone you know physically being there and in a way almost touching them and just hugging them even though like when we're outside and stuff we can't hug and everything because of the pandemic but Whenever this is over, how long this is going to take, that day when they say it is okay to hug someone again, even though I'm allowed to hug my mom because we're in the same freaking house, and, you know, even though she works at the freaking hospital, she has to really make sure that she is able to not bring anything into the house and stuff, even though I can hug her almost every single day. It's just, I think when we, when I'm able to see, like, my friends who I haven't, I haven't seen in about two, three years, um... And such, even though we talk on Facebook or whatever, but just to physically see them, it, it's completely different. And, and I know a lot of people will, I think a lot of people will agree on that too. It's just now with what's going on with the world and everything, every single day, it just gets worse and worse and worse. And so I'm really scared to see what in the world is going to have in store for us for my birthday month and November to December and then going into 2021. I am just uh, like the anxiety right now it's just super duper scary but yeah on a happy note yeah this episode was good i loved it it was a very nice episode was not expecting to cry at the last few minutes of this episode honestly because like, i mean that just touched me <laughs> like just seeing her with piggy done like so freaking cute and even though we may not see her again what i'm kind of hoping is that they do what um Go Princess and Kitty Kitty Pretty Girl Alamo did like around the time when they got. I'm gonna go for Kitty Kitta. Yeah, I'll, I'll say both, but uh, for I'm gonna do Kitty Kitta first. Kitty Kitta around the time when they were good. Uh, I can't speak. When they were getting their first one, the candy cane one, the candy cane looking one that I still kind of want. Um, and how there were people from episodes who got like a focus with a significant character. They were in that episode or with the finales. The last few episodes of Go Princess Pretty Care where everybody in the school and everybody they interacted with was there to see how the fight ultimately went down. I mean, I would like to see that with Riri, but I feel like because Riri is not that important and really almost any character that they've interacted from episode one up until this episode for today... I'd say we may see them at the finale because I think they, they kind of did that for Star Twinkle Pretty Care, but not as much as, you know, Kitta Kitta, our girl princess. I don't, I vaguely remember if they did that for Maho Girls and 
did they do that ish for Hakuto? I don't know. I don't think they did. I don't think they did that in a situation for Hakuto. Well, we'll never know. Unless I go back and look at the finale for it. But, yeah. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 25 of Healing Good Pretty Care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Sunday for episode 26. Bye, guys.